there are prophets that must rise there are intercessors that must rise many prayer groups this is what god is telling me many prophetic and apostolic prayer groups are going to rise across asaba young men they will come together and begin to pray down the purposes of god my assignment tonight is to open you to certain dimensions i'm about to pray i want you to bring those people whether you are an usher or not once the power of god rests on someone let's do it very fast so that we don't stay unnecessarily long my father i pray in this place there are women where are they by the spirit i decree and declare everyone who has a role to play in this prophetic agenda of the spirit over asaba right now i declare let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow from the front to the back from the front to the back the left to the right let that wind blow help them please someone ushers get something to cover them eh? let that wind blow in the name of jesus let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow warriors of prayer i call you by the spirit arise now warriors of prayer champions of the altar women men i call you by the spirit arise in the name of jesus warriors of prayer warriors of the spirit men who understand the altar oh you will be warriors in your homes you will be warriors across territories i stir up that fire i stir up that fire the borders the borders are rising the borders are rising the borders are rising with fire with fire with fire the borders are rising I say it by the voice of prophecy. The borders are rising. Issachar are rising by the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone go ahead and pray. I'm available, oh God. Everyone pray that prayer. Available. Right to the back. Are you praying? I'm available. Let that mantle for my destiny rest upon me. Available. To be used mightily. Available. Available for my campus. Available in Asaba. A woman of fire. All those who are in front here the Lord brought you by his spirit hear me after tonight there is a level of consecration that you are stepping into for some of you you are stepping into seasons of fastings seasons of prayer God will be revealing himself to you multiplying visions I pray for you you may look weak but may power from on high mantle you this moment may power from on high mantle you this moment that god's prophetic program for in gathering for asaba for the south south 
under your watch may it not be aborted in the name of Jesus I pray the same prayer for everyone here who is in ministry apostolic ministry prophetic ministry evangelical ministry intercessory ministry the grace to stand strong the grace to remain the grace to be unmovable the grace to not compromise may that grace rest upon you now the staying power to do ministry with integrity may it be released upon you Jesus the prayer that you have received that grace remains with you you will not lose it through carelessness you will be yielded until you become you will be yielded until you are changed you will be yielded until you evolve to a very superior version of yourself in Jesus name we pray amen return to your seat if you can I want to pray now for those who are oppressed there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ I want to pray now there is liberty in Christ hear me I'm going to be ministering deliverance right now what is deliverance the process that establishes the victory of Christ upon the life of a believer separating you from any spirit or any condition that impedes your becoming and your manifesting like Christ deliverance is not just separation from spirits it is also separation from conditions hallelujah and I'm going to pray right now there are people in this place bound by all kinds of satanic things from addictions to curses to yokes patterns that have been happening around your life and family patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of idol worship patterns of all kinds of things it's time for it to go i'm going to pray for you now at the count of three you're going to shout the name of jesus those under the anointing you will leave them eh? but then all those who now are under the anointing i want you to gently bring them out as i begin to pray it's important ushers well done to you and all those who are working this is the sacrifice you are doing for the sake of those whose destiny must be lifted i'm going to pray a prayer and i will ask all of you to shout jesus and as you shout that name that is above every other name every altar and everything that is not of god that has authorized the reign of darkness over your life it must give way now father you have given power to bring deliverance unto your people in the name of jesus i stretch my hands like moses did across asaba and i decree and declare everyone right now who is under any kind of yoke any kind of curse every legal access satan has to your life as the count of three as you shout that name 
I decree and declare may that access be broken and let your deliverance be established. Are you ready to shout now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Bring them out. I curse every spirit. I call a Spirits of ancestry. I call you by name and I curse you by the blood of the Lamb. I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. Let them go. Release their families. Shabekete Beketa. Release their destinies. Release their families. From the front to the back. The left to the right. I say it again. Every bondage that has held anyone. Bondage of addiction. Patterns of darkness. Molestations in dreams. Retrogressions. Spirits of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again, be set free this moment. Let them go. I set altars on fire. Let the consuming fire rest upon every altar. is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by Hear me. There is a spirit sitting upon the destinies of firstborns, the ones who have opened the womb, that they will keep serving the younger. Is the spirit that came upon Esau. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Let that agreement with darkness be broken now. Let it be broken now. I release your prophetic destiny in the name of Jesus. Spirits that have brought poverty over families, regardless their diligence, they only live by begging from others right now. Every altar that powers that manifestation, it comes under attack now. Hallelujah. He told Zechariah, what seest thou? And he said, I see four horns. These are the horns that have exalted themselves above Israel, above Jerusalem, and above Judah. He said, I have sent four carpenters four carpenters i have come tonight as a privileged carpenter every horn that has exalted itself over your family there are some of you there are patterns every year someone must die every two years someone must die just when people are about to rise let me speak over those families oh death where is your sting and no grave where is your victory the power of untimely death over families let that door be closed now let that door be closed now let that door be closed now hear me i'm ministering as the lord is putting it in my spirit there is the spirit of lateness People always do things late the first person that builds builds at 50 the first person that finishes school is at 35 or 40 he says satisfy me early with your goodness I want to pray for you the spirit of lateness that makes you crawl like a snail in destiny I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost anyone who is a victim of lateness be delivered this moment now hallelujah 
hear me the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of do you know there are men and women just when it is time to lift them there is a dark cloud that comes upon them and everybody starts to hate them including those who can help them the moment that opportunity lifts then everything becomes normal i don't know who has been like jabez that the, the garment apparatus theater i'm seeing dark veils dark veils just covering the faces of people this is what i see in the spirit in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the prayer of jabez may my god bless you may my god enlarge you may his hand rest upon you i tear off that veil of shame i tear off that veil of reproach in the name of jesus christ please be sensitive god is doing something in your life hallelujah that the younger will head over the elder that was the course in the bible i see two nations but the younger will head over the elder but my bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more say more and more that is the heritage of the believer in christ i taught you yesterday that the end point the end of our business in the spirit is the glory the manifestation of the glory of god in and through the life of the believer in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of people tied in the spirit these are chains that have held the hands of people right now the fire of god is going to rest and begin to break that chain father everyone from this vision you are showing me everyone whose productivity has been under attack in the name of jesus resulting to unemployment resulting to failure in business by the power that raised christ from the dead may that chain be broken now may that chain be broken now hallelujah hallelujah for all of you who are in front here i decree and declare over you every spirit that will not let you go pharaoh drowned into the sea together with his people and i declare every power i speak as one sent in the name of jesus release their families now let them go in the name of jesus that they may go and serve the lord acceptably every legal access you have over their lives and their families is hereby broken forever in the name of jesus christ we overcame them by the blood of the lamb the bible declares and the word of their testimony you are delivered now and delivered forever in jesus name now if you are trusting god for healing please you can return back to your seat for those who can lay your hands right now i want to pray for you i believe in the healing ministry with all my heart i have seen the power of god bring healing to people people who would have been dead now you are not only receiving it but you are also receiving the anointing to be an extension of the same to god's people very quickly i want to pray for you for sake of time we may not have the time to call for testimonies miracle services are usually services that demand an extensive time because of the enormity of the problems that people have the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet but sometimes you are moved by compassion as you see the kinds of problems that people carry but i have to pray for you listen i have been a victim of sickness before i know what sickness can do there are some of you who have been told the moment you are 30 the moment you are 40 the moment you are 50 the moment you are 60 start preparing for your grave because it looks like there are sicknesses prostrate cancer all kinds of satanic
satanic manifestations but i want to pray please lay your hands and believe jesus i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly Hold on, please. Because of the enormity, because of the kinds of situations of people, tomorrow is our final miracle service back home in Abuja. And do you know, there are literally hospitals, not just in Nigeria, across the globe. And may God bless the owners of those hospitals who literally, they just bring screens at the wards or some of them allow their patients on phone just when the miracle service is going on and there are patients in the hospital because doctors are right now becoming spiritual people too and bless god for doctors that are tongue talking jesus loving and serving they know when it is just a natural cause and they know when this one is a spirit and the phenomenal miracles that god has done i, I don't i don't know anything that humbles me more than that that in this place right now there are people some you may not even know you are sick others you know from ulcers to blood pressure and all kinds of things a young beautiful vibrant lady just about to start her life and they say they just found cancer somewhere and sadly in two weeks the cancer has spread and it's about to destroy you no lay your hands and i want you to believe if you are not sick in your body you can stand in for someone but by all means believe in the healing power of jesus i know he heals he truly is the healer father in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over asaba your precious people have come some have cried some like the woman with the issue of blood have spent their entire I'm hearing the word angina that looks that looks like a heart related problem something a deformity or some problem with the heart this is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus whoever it is that has that condition that heart problem I'm not a medical doctor but in the name of Jesus be healed now please believe it and after I pray I want you to shout a believing amen every spirit of infirmity that is behind every sickness wasting millions of your naira help mama help mama something is happening to her i command that spirit right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i come as one sent by the blood of jesus that was shed upon the cross that fountain that flows through calvary in the name of jesus lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in the name of jesus christ now i decree and declare asaba from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name back pain be healed in jesus name pain around the groin area be healed in jesus name eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness be healed in jesus name deaf ears be open now in jesus name everybody with any growth a lump around breast lump or some growth fibroids of all kinds I cost them right now I 
curse them right now my god the power of god is moving here someone with severe pain around your shoulder in the name of jesus who died and rose again be healed right now there's someone you have a problem urinating you are not able to go out you you can go there and stand for a long time just easing yourself literally in droplets i want to pray for you this you may not know i'm not a medical doctor i'm just saying as the spirit of god is revealing to me this is the early symptoms of prostrate in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hand over that man you are a gentle man i decree and declare whatever is enlarging your prostrate we curse it right now in jesus name there's someone god is showing me you have a fertility issue that is related to man you're a man you have a fertility issue this is an embarrassing issue you have gone to the hospital you've seen a doctor they've given you drugs i'm praying for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me by your spirit i will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting you the resurrected king is resurrecting you i decree and declare life surges into your body now there's someone you don't have any visible sickness any ailment but something began to happen to you from last year you get tired easily the moment you walk or do something strenuous you are a young person but you become tired as if you're an old person in the name of jesus christ let healing come for you now i'm seeing something that looks like a leather and i'm seeing it boiling and the lord is saying i should pray for someone that there is poor oxygen flow in your body poor oxygen flow in your body this thing you keep having sometimes you feel like you want to pass out because there is poor oxygen flow in your body i decree and declare right now be healed from that infirmity anyone having problems with your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus let it be corrected now let it be corrected now there's a gentleman you are having a problem you have severe pain around your joints you are not a sickler but you are having pro you know how sicklers are when they start having the crisis your joints your feet you are having very severe it's like a circulation problem in the name of jesus i'm praying for you wherever you are by the power of the holy spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now i see a woman you get pregnant but it does not reach three months you have to lose that baby something happens and you lose that baby this has happened a number of times in the name of jesus we are praying for you right now according to the time of life by this time next year may the god who gives children i say it prophetically by this time next year by this time next year if i be a man of god i prophesy by the spirit by this time next year return with your miracle child there's a woman here i want to pray for you you are beginning to feel pain at the left side of your breast and this thing you've been afraid to go to the hospital if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that this thing is becoming a cancerous thing and i'm seeing a situation where they are saying quickly they have to take off one of it wherever you are let the power of god that devil that wants you to lose the parts of your body to cancer Parakatos kateba lakata, ebreke de belentos kia tabarakos kia, rakatos ke berende beke de ya. Be healed now. Be healed now. 
be healed now I've seen this situation God is showing me many times why it happens I don't know but your hair is falling literally you are losing your hair a lady you are losing your hair I mean very very significant amount of your hair just falling like someone who went through chemo and is losing their hair in the name of Jesus the same grace that grew back the hair of Samson may that grace rest upon you for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus every infirmity that will not let you rest I decree and declare be healed now be healed now breathing problems be healed now in Jesus name everyone begin to pray in the spirit please bring for me the request okay stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute please pray everyone those who are following online you can connect by faith we're about to pray over this request right now is someone believing God for a miracle go ahead speak to the Lord if you are yet to submit your request please do that quickly we have to hurry up you can wave it and an usher will pick very quickly man of God I want you to stretch your hands because you are not only agreeing with me in prayer you are carrying this same grace in the name of Jesus and with it God will help you to do wonders in the life of those who look up to you someone pray hallelujah now I'm going to bow my knees and pray and all I want you to do is to agree with me in faith you don't have to kneel I will do the kneeling for you holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God holy are there still requests bring them who comes in the name of our God we hail you we worship you we hail you most high listen I was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and that was where I heard this song it was not a song that I wrote it was a song that I heard the angels sing Lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you most high someone go ahead and begin to pray from the back to the front these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever in the next one minute go ahead and pray Someone go ahead and pray. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah, you're my glory, the lifter up of my head. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Yeah, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Say, you're my glory, Lord. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up. My head, you are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, 
Hallelujah. I know the God that answers prayer. I know the God that answers prayer. There is a covenant of answered prayer. Solomon, in dedicating the temple, he said, Lord, whoever faces his direction and cries, that you will hear and you will hearken. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, by the power of that raised Christ from the dead every request that is written here for everyone who believes in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy receive this request as testimonies receive this request as instant testimonies hear me many of these prayer requests are men dependent that means there are those who have been anointed by god to be the channels to answer prayers i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west of asaba whoever must come into divine partnership with the spirit of grace to make for the answers of this prayer wherever they are in the name of jesus we summon them to honor the word of prophecy in the name of jesus christ And every man who says over his dead body for you to rejoice and see the hand of God in the name of Jesus may the earth open and swallow them I stand upon these requests prophetically and I decree and declare every trouble that has sat on your head I bring it under the feet of Jesus and I declare unto you Asaba in gathering and the community of believers here represented these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ are you ready to receive prophetic words son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest can I tell you the truth? If you receive the prophetic declarations that I'm bringing over your life, you will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen. Adonai. 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 Adonai 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 In the name of Jesus I speak over everyone who has come for this conference by the power that raised Christ from the dead hear me every door that has closed over you closed over your ministry closed over your business closed over your children closed over your influence by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to that door a fata be open a fata be open a fata be open in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says, you don't have to bring those under the anointing in front again. Just guide them and say. And the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Every destiny helper who must send for you. To transit you from where you are. To the next level of your prophetic destiny. Wherever they are. I call upon the God of my covenant. Who is also your God. Between now and December 31st. Please hear me. I prophesy to you, may your destiny help us show up in your life. May your destiny help us show up in your life.
in the name of Jesus I'm hearing restoration in my spirit I don't know what you have lost some you have lost time some you have lost relationships some you have lost things some you have even lost mantles I'm praying for you now the grace that restores may it land upon you the grace that restores may it land upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that restores I say it again may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus are you ready to receive favor father I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone here who believes that there is actually a grace called favor I'm praying in the name that is above all names I call upon my God the one who has shown me mercy let that grace let that mantle for favor let it rest upon you now let that grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for the works of your hands now listen please I was speaking to a few people yesterday and I told them something we're wrapping up I want to pray a very serious prayer for you there is a grace called the power to prosper do you know how it works there are three dimensions to the operation of that grace it comes upon your head it comes upon your hands and it comes upon your feet listen carefully when that grace comes upon your head it activates creativity and illumination and understanding Elihu said there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 and the breath the spirit the breath of the almighty make it men of understanding then number two it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now Abraham if he remained at all of the Chaldeans even though he was a sincere man he would never be blessed there are times where God relocates men to their desired place are we together direction is important and guidance is important these are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom wisdom as divine direction the Lord is my shepherd and because of his ability to lead and guide me I shall not want I want to pray this grace for you upon your head upon your hand upon your feet let it rest now I say it again upon your head supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen illumination understanding of things and I pray for your hand you are in business you are working you are a, an employed person whatever endeavor you are engaged in in Jesus name may that grace rest upon you and finally find supernatural direction you know where to go to you are led by the spirit you will never go to a place of trouble you will never go to a place of loss you will never go to a place of decline you will never find your way to Sodom in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me please hear me I want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart of all the prayers and the prophetic words this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive I want to pray for your spiritual life that includes your prayer life that includes your passion for the word that includes your passion for the house of God in all your receiving you did not receive much if this one does not rest on you there is a grace that causes men to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication it makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar and from there you will command power with God and power with men there is the passion for the Word of God that causes you to desire the Word of God even more than your necessary food 
there is a grace that makes the house of God a delight for you I was glad when they said unto me let us when there is a decline in membership within a territory something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people therefore I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus whatever has taken your spiritual life down compromises carelessness prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of God lack of commitment to serve in the house of God by this fire by this power I fan to flames your prayer altar I fan to flames your prayer altar I say it again I fan to flames your prayer altar in the name of Jesus receive passion for the Word of God the discipline to fast the discipline to wake up and pray the discipline to study the word the discipline to love the house of God the discipline to live for Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus let it rest upon you hear me anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly in the mighty name of Jesus in this great prophetic atmosphere before you receive the final blessing I want to count one to five and in that count I want to give someone an opportunity who is an apostle I desperately need Jesus listen please keep standing there are many people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you teach whilst hearing you preach the hunger and the passion for the things of the spirit is welling up within me but I have never truly made Jesus Lord of my life or you are saying I remember making this declaration of faith but as it stands right now something is is capitally wrong with my spiritual life I need your mercy I need your help oh God I'm going to count one to five I don't know where that person is but in the name of Jesus as I count one to five I want you to run and come and stand here now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise, come We raise the sound For He is God and God alone Hallelujah, hallelujah Now unto the Lamb upon the throne sound we raise a sound over the nations of the earth over the nations of the earth hallelujah hallelujah i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back come I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Sing it one more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided. What a mighty harvest tonight, young and old, male and female. Only Jesus can draw this many to himself. Let's honor him with a great hand clap for this once. Now for all of you who are here, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Lift it high to Jesus, not to a man, not to Joshua Selman. Lift it. Say after me as loud as you can. And please, I want you to mean it from your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is in this place. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe 
that you rose again for my justification right now i receive your life i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i live for jesus keep your beautiful hands lifted and i pray for you father based on the authority of your word the integrity of your word alongside your confession i decree and declare that truly the power of sin satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life and every spirit that will not let you serve jesus acceptably and in truth i cast it out of your life now i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and i decree and declare that the spirit of grace will begin a journey with you that leads you to become a manifestation of the glory of god from tonight you go for whatever and backward never amen and amen